guys. <clears throat> I'm here with the taste test video. Um, I'm going to be trying these three items that I got at Big Lots. Now, I looked up the price on Amazon. These Wild and Raw name brand are $8.90 each on Amazon, but I'm pretty sure they were maybe 4 or $5 at Big Lots. I don't remember, but I know that they were definitely not $9, <laughs> almost $9. And then these I looked up on Amazon, and they only have them by the case of six for $49, so that's about $8 each, and we got them on clearance for $2, and that price is up here. It was $4, but they were on clearance for $2, and they're still, they're still, okay, well these are, these are almost expired, but these are good until where was it? I saw the date until 2019 so these are still pretty good for a while and again I'm not sure these aren't bad or anything so this is my taste test video so I'm gonna start with the 7th Street Confections strawberry dark chocolate thins tell you if they're worth the price to check your local big lots mmm they smell pretty good. And this is what they look like. Mmm. They have um, freeze dried pieces of strawberry inside. If you haven't tried freeze dried fruit, this is really good. We should try it. These are good. This has got dark chocolate. And then the ingredients that have dark chocolate. Strawberry, sea salt. And um, dry milk. And that's it. So these are really simple ingredients and they're really good it's a very tasty treat you get four and a half servings in this bag and it's 4.7 ounces and one ounce sir, is a serving at 170 calories for an ounce mm -hmm. i'm gonna save these for last next up I have tried dates before, but I have not tried this brand or anything. So let's see how it is. Let me... Okay, so these are sun-dried organic... Deglet Noir Pitted Dates. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Most likely I'm not. <laughs> they are Wild and Raw brand. It says Eat Natural, Love Natural. Again, these are around $9, almost $9 on, on Amazon. But I found them at Big Lots. For, <sighs> I'm going to say four, between 4 and $5. Mmm. Okay, they smell pretty good. And these are pitted, but you always want to make sure, too, before you chomp down. Okay, these are the nice small ones. These I prefer for, like, more baking or making date paste. I'm going to go ahead and obviously still try one, but I'm just showing you that it's really skinny. and I like the big, fat, juicy ones. <laughs> The Majul dates at Whole Foods, those are the best. They are like eating candy. Mm, these are pretty good. They don't have that nice, thick, caramely like um, the Majul dates, but these are still pretty good.
And so yeah, if you like dates, these are actually really good. I would say they're a good choice. They're sweet. They have a nice flavor. They're organic, raw, vegan, zero trans fat, cholesterol free, gluten free, good source of fiber, no preservatives, no sugar added, and it's not baked or fried. So, like it says, it's sun dried. So, give it a try. And this is another item that I got at Big Lots. Again, it's the same wild and raw name brand. And I have never, ever tried um, mulberries before. So I saw that and I was like, ooh, I want to try that. That's something new I haven't tried. So I'm not only trying a different brand, but now I'm trying a different kind of fruit thingy that I've never tried before. Let's see. Oh, these are so little. This is no sugar added, not baked or fried, a good source of fiber, no coloring or preservatives, zero trans fat, cholesterol free, and vegan. Let's see. And this is what it looks like. It's just a little teeny tiny thing. The picture makes it look like it's going to be bigger, but I guess that's what it looks like when it's fresh. So. Hmm. Our first... At first, when you about into it, I was like biting into a little piece of crunchy granola. And then it becomes chewy and it tastes like a raisin. Hmm. I was not expecting it to taste like a raisin. I'm going to have another one. It's sort of like a toss up between like a granola, bite of granola and a bite of a raisin in the same thing. Huh, that's kind of interesting. I would definitely um, recommend these if you like raisins and if you like granola with raisins because that is literally what I think these taste like. <laughs> oh, I do have the picture. Down here is what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> and then that's the fresh. <laughs> I have a couple more of these to try. I have a different flavor of this and two or three more flavors of, of these. But I'm going to do those in a different video just because I don't want to eat a whole bunch of different things all in one video right now. But I will be back. Maybe tomorrow or the next day. And do another video of the other ones. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos, y'all. Have a nice day. Bye.